Hey, happy. Welcome on in. We are working on some shop prep. So I do have the camera at a different angle. I have some prints that need to be cut out for the shop update. And then I think I'm going to go through and stamp some of the shipping, um, like the, the flat mailers. And I have some boxes and stuff that I think it would be smart to kind of pre-stamp. So that is what we're going to do. I usually, where's my, whoop. But how are you? How was your Thursday? So I'm going to see if I can get this. I don't know if it's my cutting mat, if I'm cutting too hard, but sometimes like when I try and cut with my mat, my blade veers off and I don't dig that. Ooh. But I love streams like, I mean, it's needs to be done, I think. Which one is this? This one's the Made in China one. I have like, so I thought I lost my X-Acto knife a while back. Um, found out that it just like kind of fell off the table and rolled away into an abyss. So like, I got like a super cheap one and you like, I can tell like this one is way lighter and also the cap basically falls off. Whereas this one doesn't and it's heavier. And so I try and use the better X-Acto knife. Not that I know if it makes much of a difference, but that, 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 that. Let me get a new blade. Fresh blade for prints. And I'm always like the worst at figuring out how to throw these away. Whoop. Is that one? Okay. Maybe. Hello? Would you like to re enter the tool? Okay. Now, do I have tape? I guess I'll just sit the other blade off to the side somewhere so I can deal with it later. I'm good, how are you? Today is really, really nice out, so I am, I'm digging today. Roll up the sleeves, get ready to cut five million prints. So in my new shop update, I switched from five by fives to eight by eights and eight by tens. So I had to print all new prints for the shop update, which is what some of these are. I guess that's pretty nice. As long as it doesn't like veer off. I really need to invest in um, like a proper paper cutter. I used to have one um, and I had the same one for years and it was used between me and my mom, but she liked to use it for like fabric and felt a lot. So like the little like, so basically like the little like bits where like the cutting would happen, it would get like full of like felt and fabric stuff. So it wasn't great. And then I got rid of it one day and I just never got another one. <laughs> but now that I feel like I'm cutting paper at um, a larger volume, it's probably time to invest in a new one. And I, I have my guillotine, but that's mostly, it's, it's really not accurate. And honestly, I should probably have returned it and gotten a new one because it's pretty off. Um, but I use that for uh, like my cardboard backing. Whoop. Oh, it's such a nice print. I absolutely adore eight by eight size prints. I think they're perfect. But where am I gonna put these over here? Here? <laughs> I'll put them over there for right now. In my pile of paper that's just gonna grow. Is that what is that? I guess it doesn't matter because it's outside the lines. My printer had the biggest hissy fit. Um, when I was printing out my first batch of prints for the shop update, it printed like the first, maybe like th two or three, like perfectly fine. And then all of a sudden it came out like the, the next one that I had printed came out horrible. Like it was completely miscolored. Everything was like more yellow. And I was like, what happened between the last like print? And I was like, you were fine. <laughs> And now it's yellow and it's streaky. And I'm like, what happened? And so 
I spent like two days trying to fix it because I had to keep cleaning the print heads. Um, so I would like print it and I would do a test and it kept saying that my cyan was struggling. Like it's not like empty, like they're like they're all basically full, but like the, the print head wasn't printing cyan properly. And my printer showed me an option because there's like regular print head cleaning and it showed me like basically something called like power cleaning, which would, I guess like it would takes up like a ton of ink but it like power cleans out all of your print heads. And I was like, oh yeah, I want to do that. But then I went to go like choose that option and it was like, mm, no, no, what are you doing? See, I don't like this. Cause the edges aren't as crisp, but what's happening? Mm. Anyway, I had to, <laughs> I had to like do the, the head cleaning process, I think four or five times to fix the cyan. Like it slowly got better with each test. Um, unfortunately, once I had fixed the cyan, all of a sudden my magenta went haywire and I'm just like, but why? But for what reason? Why, <laughs> why when I fixed the cyan did my magenta just take a dive? And so I had to do it a few more times to get the magenta to figure itself out. I'm gonna have to, like, what is that? What is that? What are you? What is on my print? that part of the paper I guess this will have to be a B grade because I don't know what that is there's like two little I don't think you can see that oh yep you can kind of pick it up there's like two little marks who are you where'd you come from <laughs> why goodness but I'm gonna have to assume that the reason my printer had issues maybe is because I didn't use it for a minute because I think you're you're supposed to like keep your printer on and like active um for, I don't know, like the best printer health, whatever you want to call it. And it'd been, it, it had been a minute since I printed or printed in like this kind of bulk on that machine. So I'm gonna have to assume maybe it was just mad because I didn't use it for a long time and then tried to print a lot of prints and it was like, mm -mm, time to break. Too regular. How dare I? How dare I what? Yes. Okay. Whoop. Not use the printer and then use it. How dare I not be printing twenty four seven? Three, six, five. Pressing down the uh, the ruler is making my fingers sore. 
at some point I might switch to cutting with scissors just to give like these fingers a break. This is why I need a paper cutter. I guess I would love it if the sun would just decide to stay out today. There's a decent amount of clouds in the sky that keep covering it. I'm not about it. What do you want? What are you doing? <laughs> My lips just like standing in the bedroom, staring at me. What do you want? What do you want, puppy dog? <laughs> I don't have any food. I don't know why you're just chilling. Nothing for puppy up here. Yeah, not a single thing for puppy. Woe is puppy. What? You can't just stay there. That's not safe. That's not safe down there. You're being ridiculous. Go on out from underneath my desk. Get, 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 get. Go lay down. What? Everything is not for puppy. We did just get inside. We went and we we sat outside while the sun was out. Just went and sat in the grass and chilled for, for a few minutes. Get a little bit of vitamin D in my system. It was much needed and very warm. gotten through the the mountain friends so this next one is a bit of an older piece like not like old but I mean obviously older than mountains but it's one that I love a ton which is this little frog and it's like a little it's like a frog holding I don't know I, the, there's a name for this plant and you know I, I don't know the name for it, but I adore this plant and it's coming out of like a little soda can. So I was like, why not offer it in the shop update? If you really want to cut all of those with a knife. <laughs> nice. Imagine if I was just cutting these with like a butter knife. Butter knife cut, cut pieces. Hand cut via butter knife. I have a portable trimmer I could bring over. I mean, that would be much more helpful. I don't have too, too many of these to cut out, but maybe for the next batch. Eventually, I need to just run to Michael's. But if you want to make a run with me to Michael's today, later today, I'm down. Because I know they have some, some cheaper little paper cutters. Fletch, welcome in. How are you? How's your Thursday? It feels like a Friday. I'm not sure about you guys, but it, it's feeling like a Friday to me. Oop. Also, do you guys love how I painted my nails very specifically just for photo, like product photos? Because I knew that I like I like to hold my like prints and stuff, and I was like, I don't want my nails to be lame in the picture, so I painted my nails just for the product photos. <laughs> uh, do 
you want to give me like 10, I can go ahead and bring it over. Um, I mean, if you want to, I'll still be streaming, but. But I can always put it on BRB. By that time I might be stamping. What is this music? <laughs> what is going on? I feel like sometimes there's Oh, that's cute. Okay, I'll go there. I'll start there. I'll let it go there. I ain't got shit to do. I mean, if you want to come over and sit in the living room, <laughs> feel free. I was like, the plan for today is mostly just shop prep. So I want to finish cutting these out. Um, and then I need to go through and I need to stamp a bunch of packages so I can have that ready to go. I did go ahead and pre-package all of, let me make sure that my address is not hanging out where it can be seen, but I went ahead and I pre-packaged all of these. So they're in like a nice little like holographic bag and it's the keychain for the shop update, which is adorable and I can't get over it so and then of course we have all of our new stickers for the shop update um, I'm hoping next shop update to have washi tape as well that is the goal because I have designed two washi tape designs Milo do you mind my dude my, do you mind do you mind he's he has like the hardest plastic toy that he's just dragging across the floor he's like this is it this is the time do you need help Come, come here. I will help you. I will put it on the carpet because you're struggling. Here you go. And I was like, how can I make... No, he's going to chew it right here, isn't he? Can you not? Nope. I have a No, yeah, go over there. <laughs> go over there. No, go over there. Go over there. Not over here. You literally went around the other side. No, go over there. Go over there. <laughs> He's just circling the couch. Don't come back. <laughs> he just went like slightly back. You guys might be able to hear him chewing in the background. And I apologize. Ooh, did I break the tip? Did I break the tip? I think I did. I think I broke the tip. Ooh, oh no. Please cut, okay? Ooh. Okay, well where's the tip? It's not in the print, right? Is it in my map? Uh, I'm afraid. I think I broke the tip, but I can't. Oh, well, that's gone. I'm gonna go ahead and switch blades, I guess. Well, and I might trim up this end because it doesn't look as crisp now. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Another blade, please. For the trimmings. Okay. I did already spend a good chunk of today updating all of my listings, which takes the most amount of time. I gotta run to the Home Depot, but I'm gonna keep the stream up BRB. No problemo. Just make sure that Panda and Lady are watching. If they're not, I'll be sad. I don't like that. I need it to, I'm gonna have to go in a little bit on this one. Because if it's not like a nice crisp cut, I'm probably gonna lose my, no, my mind. Oh, Jesus, I'm making it worse. Why did the music get worse? <gasps> Why did this cut get worse? Okay, we're going in with scissors. Chaos. Chaos has ensued. Let me see if I can, ooh. Gosh dang it. I don't even know how to get in there to get that. Oh, I got it, okay. 
scissors coming in clutch for a, a cleaner end. I thought this song on Game Chops makes me anxious. That's better. Make sure to save that one so we can cut it with the fancies. It might have to be this frog. I might have to come back to it. If you want, I can probably. Let's see, I have these. So we have some frogs. We have this print that we need to cut. And then, oh, I love this one. This was a G, G, G Soupy? G Soupy? Uh, draw this in your style challenge. This one's a Paloma the Peach Draw This In Your Style Challenge. And then we have our frogs. Our little frog toys. But I guess I can go ahead and... I have to put this to the side. Should have brought like a trash can over here with me. Trash can acquired. We can go ahead and start stamping. I'll set that there. So when I got my no issue ink, it came <laughs> broken. Like wherever like the hinges like meet was broke, so it doesn't stay closed properly. So I have tape on the ends to Make sure that it stays closed. I definitely just like don't have enough desk real estate. Ooh. Hi, welcome on in. How are you? How was your Thursday? We're doing a little bit of shop prep today. So like pre-packaging some packages, some flat mailers, cutting some prints, all that good stuff. Because tomorrow is my shop update, which includes a ton of new stuff, including this keychain, which is probably my favorite thing in the entire world. It's a little fire flower. It's hard to see, but it says burnt out. How about your cap? Oh, from Julie and Joe. They're too sweet. I love them so much. Some of my absolute favorite streamers as well. And Julie is also having a shop update tomorrow. We are shop update buddies. But I wanna to make tomorrow as stress-free as possible. I was actually surprised. I So my when I opened up my shop again, cause I had previously opened it um, around October-ish of last year. Um, I did have a bit of a smaller following. I wasn't really streaming. I think I had like just started streaming. Um, since then, my audience has grown, and I, I shut my shop for a while. Um, when I reopened it, 
I was not expecting a lot of orders. Um, both unfortunately and fortunately, I got way more than I expected and it was a little overwhelming. So I have now kind of reset up my entire space to accommodate um, being able to pack things. I have a very limited space in which I work in. And so I think having some of this stuff pre-done already will make update day really simple for me <laughs> and and simple for everyone else which means that they you know their packages are packaged and, and shipped and sent out and to them quicker also i think it's just really nice to be able to co-work i would love to do more co-working sessions um because i'm thinking we we do some stamping we can do some print cutting um yeah. and then i have a piece in mind i want to start but we'll see We'll see if we get to that. Pretty good, I'm teaching an online tutorial for biostatistics and I have very few students today, so the company is much appreciated, of course. Woohoo shop updates, I love it. Yes, I'll be shopping at all. Is it, okay, so is your name pronounced um, Evna? If not, please let me know because I want to make sure that I'm pronouncing it right. But hello and welcome in, how are you? How is your Thursday? We are working on shop update prep to make sure I am is ready. Yes, nailed it. Good, 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 good. I'll make sure I'm as ready to go as I can be. And then I do have a piece that I want to like draw. I don't know if I want it to be like a little sketch or the stamp is so pretty. Yeah, I actually I made this stamp the first time I opened my shop and I have yet to update it, but I might. Um, I also ship some things out in envelopes, especially for like Patreon. So I was debating getting like a self inking stamp with my return address on it, but I don't know. Not sure yet. Let me go ahead and put these over here. I also, can I stamp bubble mailers? I need to check because I would like to stamp. I guess it doesn't matter if these are bent, right? Now that I think about it. Should I stamp these? So these are mostly gonna be for our keychains. So in case anybody orders like just a keychain or like a keychain and stickers. Like I wanna, I feel like I wanna say, please don't bend. Cause like I would prefer if they not like bend this bad boy in half, if there's like a sticker in there, you know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it anyway. We're gonna do that. Do I want it to be probably on this side? Let me see what I can do here. Yeah, I use self-inking stamps for everything. I bet that makes life so much easier. <laughs> Let me get this giant chunk of mailers out. Ooh, I hope that these look okay stamped. Because <laughs> they're a little squishier, so I feel like it's going to pick up on the edges. It'll be fine. What if I do, like, center on these? Oh, I'm so afraid. Okay, it definitely picks up the edges, but I still think it looks cute. So we are going to stamp the bubble mailers. I love custom stamps. I think they're precious. I would like to get some custom stickers. So since ooh, since I decided to um, update all of my prints from 5x5s to 8x8s, I did get the larger mailers to accommodate. So these are my new mailers, which will accommodate um, an 8x8 and an 8x10, whereas these are my older mailers. Um, however, I tried to also think about if somebody were to order, say, a print and a keychain, which is a more, I mean, it's, it's not like super like thick, but I would prefer that like none of these bits dig into the print. So I actually got boxes, which kind of feel a little excessively big because they need to be able to accommodate an 8x8 or an 8x10 print. So I do have boxes. So like if somebody orders like some prints, some stickers, oh, down the road I am doing washi tape as well. Um, but I was afraid of doing a large bubble mailer because I was just really afraid of like that keychain digging in to a print. So I was like, I feel like a box is the safest way to go. Even if they have to be a bit of a bigger box. It's so exciting to get mail and see people's stamps. I adore getting other artists mail i love seeing like um and this is like the, the graphic designer coming out of me but like i love seeing like the user experience basically of like the the unboxing and the packaging and 
I love it. I've gotten a few pieces of mail that have inspired some change to my shipping. Um, so like with the boxes I've added, uh, what is it called? Um, some like colored tissue paper. I didn't get like custom tissue paper because I know companies like No Issue have custom, but I just don't know if I'm there yet <laughs> to do like custom tissue paper. But I got tissue paper in a color that I tend to use. It's like that nice yellowish green. And then I got little um, like tissue paper, like confetti hearts that are like the light purple that I usually use because I wanted it to still match, you know, my, my prints and my brand and all of that good stuff. But I wanted to to up my, my unboxing experience a little bit. Which includes, you know, adding little, little stamps like this. Um, I want to get like a round sticker. I usually use, so like I'll, these have like self adhesive on the inside. So like when I shut them, they're closed, but I like to add washi tape as if they're being shut with washi tape on the outside. But I think I could replace that with like a circle sticker. Or when I get my own custom washi tape, I could use that too, either way. Ooh, this is gonna end up falling over. And I do have a friend on the way. She's gonna bring me a paper cutter or a paper trimmer, she said it was, to see if that would make cutting these prints a little easier. I do need to, God, I don't like when it doesn't catch all of the edges. <laughs> If you're gonna catch the edges, catch them all, please. Like that. Whoop. Okay, I'm gonna put some of those back in the box and bring out the others. I'm just afraid that when she gets here, Milo is gonna, Milo doesn't like bark a bunch. Milo, Milo barely barks, but when somebody is coming up the stairs, he'll let out a bark, which shocks me to death because he, he doesn't bark. So when he does do it, I'm just in shock. Washi tape on mailers is cute. I agree. It is one of the things that I enjoy doing. I also added washi tape too. So I'm offering mystery mail in my shop update. So that will include all of like the five by five prints that I'm no longer selling and stickers. I'll do it this way. So then I'm using like washi tape here and then I used my um, thermal printer to print out little labels. And last time I did my shop update, people really liked the mystery mail. So I was like, I will absolutely be bringing that back. If people enjoy it, it will come back. I was like, once I switch over to my iPad after we're done doing some shop prep, if you guys can remind me, I can pull up the uh, the washi tape designs I am planning on getting printed. Like I said, hopefully for the next, not, not, the, not the restock, because I'll probably end up doing a restock of some stickers and stuff between then, but for the next update. And then I have a few other products that I want to bring to my shop update as well. I really, really, really like these keychains. I don't know, I guess depending on how many people want this specific keychain. I really liked the transparent motel keychain. Um, I want to make more keychains. So I guess we'll see if people like this little burnt out one or if I want to make a totally new design. And of course, if you guys want more detailed updates on stuff like this, my Patreon is the place to get it because my Patreon see all of my upcoming shop ideas and, and layouts, any shop products I'm planning on bringing to updates. They see finished products when they come in the mail before they're announced on like social media and stuff. And of course my Patreon has super cute little mailed goodies as well.
I'm here. I don't want Milo barking. Oh, I appreciate that. Okay, I'm gonna go on BRB real quick.
already I have returned. We are gonna see about cutting out the rest of these prints with this paper cutter. And then I think afterwards I need to go to Michael's so I can get a paper cutter for future prints. Also I can like, the music thingy is barely popping up. Let me know if it's loud enough for y'all. the more that I work, the messier my desk is getting. Moving on to the next print. And this one is the Draw This In Your Style Challenge by Paloma the Peach, I believe. Which anything for, with, with giant flowers, I'm usually down to draw. What is that? Oh, okay, I got that one off. Oh. Paper cutter is freaking out.
so in all of my pieces I have like this blue line that goes around it so I know obviously where to cut. So I always try and cut like directly below that so there's no actual blue showing on the edges. Julie, thank you for the hydrate. I did actually get a water while I was away. Also, Julie, how are you? How was your Thursday? And you were just streaming, weren't you? How did your stream go? paper bits all over my shirt. Wish I had one of those like little mini desk vacuums. I'm good. Yes, I streamed ooh, 12 to 4 and it was nice. Did two little illustrations of a uh, harem and some bison. How are you? Today is really good. Um, it was sunny out earlier. So I did go outside and I sat in the sun with my little, there's a little bit of blue here. I'm gonna get that with scissors. So yeah, I got to sit out in the sun while it was out with the puppy, which was much needed. Gotta get as much vitamin D as I can. Ooh. I'm glad you got some sunshine. Yeah, the, the clouds have rolled in, so it's gone for now, but yep. Other than that, just trying to make sure everything is ready for tomorrow's shop update. I spent a lot of this morning basically updating all of my shipping stuff and all of the listings on Etsy so I can just wake up tomorrow and publish it, take my shop out of vacation mode. I would really like to eventually veer away from Etsy. Um, However, I am terrified. <laughs> um, I know there's a lot of Etsy alternatives, but like shipping gives me so much anxiety and like calculating shipping cost versus like pricing cost, um, VAT taxes, tariff codes, and all, all of that good stuff. Etsy does a good job of kind of doing a lot of that for me. Scoop everything to the floor, and I will vacuum it later. It's basically just getting all over me. It's covered in little papers. <gasps> Welcome on in. How are you? Oh, 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 getting. Marianne, I hope you were doing fantastic this Thursday. My desk is a mess, becoming even messier. Goodness, goodness, goodness. I'm a mess, becoming messier because I have little paper bits all over me. Jesse Carper, excuse, I think I just, oh, you just got the Patreon mail? Oh, that is so fantastic. Oh, I hope it got to you okay. <laughs> Did it get to you good? Is, was it the Patreon mail? I hope you like it. The ghost egg doodle. <laughs> I thought you'd like that. Yay, Patreon mail. These hollow stickers are sick. I'm glad you like them. They were a collaboration with Sticker App, and I thought it was the perfect opportunity to play around with holographic stickers. So obviously the the little strawberry snake is a older print, and I mean I, I use the term older vague, 
vaguely. Um, and then the, the Zuzu with a flower ah, on her head that I created solely for the, the collaboration. Your hollow stickers look so good. Thank you. I, they, when they came in, they were just like, I was shocked. I think I want to play a little more with some of the texture options that sticker app has. I don't love that it's leaving you some bitties. Yeah, just like run my scissors across it. Is that not going to do anything for me? Ooh. Yeah, I've seen people do a lot of fun things with the different textures and materials that Sticker App has. So in the future, I want to try some more fun things with stickers. I must I'll plug you on my Instagram. You're too kind. I feel like Instagram has been like extra nutty to have to post on lately. I had to create a reel this morning. I'm like, ugh. Whenever I have to create a reel, I'm just like not, not loving it. Reels, no, I hate making reels so much. I'm incredibly not interested in it. But it's the only, ah, no, not sideways. It's the only thing that Instagram will even pay attention to right now, which is extremely sad. I need to make one soon though. Yeah, I try and make as simple of reels as my little brain can because I don't really want to take away actual like creating time to video shooting and editing time if it's not like vlog related which i haven't taken any film so like i i did create a february vlog which i'm editing the end of because i'm taking 20 years to do it and then i'm posting it on my patreon first it'll be my first studio vlog but i have not taken any video from this month <laughs> at all for one so there's probably not going to be one for March. I'm doing quite a few things in April, though. So maybe there'll be an April one as well. I, however, just need to sit down and finish editing the February one. I, it's literally like the last like few clips that I need to edit and put in some text in a few places that I want text. And then I would be done. But here I am procrastinating the very end. of the video. Ooh, not sideways, not sideways. Oh, I've been so lazy about making a March vlog. Yeah, I just, I haven't done anything. I mean, I guess a shop update is pretty interesting, but I don't do shop update stuff at like convenient or interesting times. Like it's usually like in the evening when like lighting is bad or like my process isn't really like attractive. Like, it's, it's a mess. We're a mess over here. It also could just be me needing to get into the habit of filming things more often. Ooh. Ooh.
So excited for your shop update. Thank you. I am also, I think I'm, I'm mostly just excited because I, this keychain, <laughs> this is it. This is, this is what I'm most excited about. And I'm excited to like after this add more fun items to the shop. Was this one that I had to cut short? Yeah, okay, this one's gonna be a B grade. So I think I'll put it aside away from the other ones. The keychain is amazing. I want to make more motel keychains for sure. Where did I cut this one? I, oh, I put it on, I cut it with them, but I, then I put it on the bottom. Whoop, whoop. Okay, and then I should probably, ugh. I want to stamp some boxes, but I feel like that's going to take up way too much space. See if I can figure out which part of the box is the bottom without having to build them. Oh, it's the part that's up. I don't want to put it on the top. See, this is where a sticker would come in handy. I would like to put like a little like branded sticker in the center of these boxes. Um, for now, I mean, because obviously I guess the but then I could put the shipping label on the bottom and then I could do a sticker on the top. But then where would I have my decisions? Decisions to be made. I think I can put these top. I want a bottom. Mm -hmm. I think I'll do them on the bottom for these. Right? Because then on the top, the shipping label would be here. Shipping label on top, stamp on the bottom. I think we might do that for now until I get some branded stickers. And then I would change it. <laughs> then it would completely change. But then I would want it like here, maybe. Well, that didn't even like stamp well. We don't like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should just wait until I get new stickers. Because I don't want to put stamps on the bottom of these if they're not going to stamp well. Also, it feels silly to put a don't bend stamp. I ordered a custom wax seal. Ooh, like two months ago and it still isn't here. No, <laughs> I think wax seals are so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put these away. And then I think that's probably all the shop update that we're gonna, or shop prep that we're gonna do right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and set up for my iPad. So I'm going to turn off the camera for two seconds so I can fix all of this <laughs> and clean up this mess. So I will be right, right back.
Alright, we should be back. <laughs> Dead on the corner. You listen. <laughs> I think I might be sideways. Yeah. I'm gonna move my cam back and forth. It is not always fun. But I have a piece that I have saved that I want to send over that I want to use as reference for this piece. Because it is a cat in many oranges. And then I think, where's my, oof, did I not label it? Is this my eight by 10? I feel like it is. What, where's my cat oranges that I just, do I gotta scroll and find it? Okay. I saw this a while back and almost died. And so like, I feel like I want the piece obviously to be mostly oranges. And there's just like a little cat in there somewhere. We're gonna do like a smaller sketch first. Always smart to thumbnail. And I don't know if I want to do the bins or if I just want like oranges. When I see orange, I think of you. Aw. Is that my color? Am I orange? <laughs> okay, so then of course we'd want these all to have like... Maybe we don't want them all to have it. Maybe just select ones. Maybe, but I first found your art during Inktober, so that might be why. That's where I did use like a, like a bright reddish orange for Peachtober. Do we want, we want the red or oranges towards the front, I think. It's not really. I mean, these will all be better distinguished. Or dis distinguished? Distinct? Dis distinct? 
once they have shading. This looks amazing. We love orange. Yeah, I'm gonna throw, I'm, I feel like I'm gonna end up throwing probably Zuzu in here, but I don't know. Maybe, do we want like a, like a sneaky little like orange cat in here maybe? Cause like, wouldn't that be fun? I'm afraid I'm gonna get like two yellow <laughs> and then they're not gonna be distinguishable as oranges. They'll be like, that's definitely a lemon at this point. They're just extremely not ripe oranges. What do non ripe oranges look like? Maybe should I go back now? Like start going back down the color thingy? Like that. Okay, yeah, this might be this might be the play. <laughs> At the top we'll just kind of start going back down. that aren't be this red color or maybe we'll do a gradient undecided green I'm not sure what that is a comment towards it <laughs> just green Or do we want like a little cream cat? How cute would that be? What kind of cat face do I want? Do I want like a chunky cat? I feel like since it's in the oranges, we would want. Like a chunky face cat. Little cream cat, yes.
Oh, thank you for the sub. Welcome on in. I hope you enjoy your Zuzu emotes. I'm still in the deciding phase on the cream cat. I feel like I'm so comfortable drawing like Zuzu, like just like solid black cats that like, like my brain's like, well, yeah, this is just the easiest thing to do. My worry is just that he might blend a little too much into the oranges. This is so cute already. Thank you. I'm still in, in deciding on the cat, on the cat, on the cat color. But let's get some some green in here. Because under no circumstances am I not having green and leaves in this piece. Of course, this is just like our little like color palette, so it still has a lot of fine tuning and refining. overlay is stunning i love the flower garden thank you i just redid all of my my stuff recently because i haven't updated my assets since i started streaming and they were due for an update um so there's quite a few new things um alongside of the new overlay so we have new sub badges um which is eggs and then of course we have our updated layouts and then we have a new stream um, point, like channel point redemption. It is called Stream Breakfast um, and you can redeem a fried egg. I can go show you guys, maybe. My gallery wants to cooperate. So we have Stream Breakfast and you can redeem an egg with a custom yolk and a custom facial expression. And then you can purchase add-ons like hats or like sparkles um, you can also redeem little filler veggies. So like in between like these spaces here, you could add like a little greenery or vegetables, stuff like that to fill in the gaps between the eggs. I'm still iffy about this cat. My life is so much better since I got Twitch. Oh, are you new to Twitch? 
I'm still like sipping on the same coffee that I had way early this morning. Redeemed filler veggie, Julie, a little sprig of rosemary. I need to look up what rosemary looks like just so I, because I think I know what rosemary looks like, but. Okay, yes. <laughs> rosemary. I think we could probably add it. I'm gonna add some right here. Let me know if that works for you. Oopsies. And then I won't name it Julie. Oh, very cute, very cute. That's so exciting, congrats. The anxiety today totally makes sense. Having food come into your space for that. I missed something. Hold on. I missed something. Oh, Julie said I'm doing okay. People are coming into my uh coming to interview me in your studio tomorrow morning so i'm very nervous trying to tidy everything in a bit of a panic oh that's so exciting congrats but the anxiety totally makes sense having people come into your space for that you'll do great just be your amazing self i'm doing great thanks just tired from an intense therapy session Ooh, i feel that low spoons low spoons so gonna hang on twitch all day and just vibe uh, that's, that's a feeling. Twitch is such a pleasant thing to have on in the background. This cat's gonna drive me insane. I'm gonna have to turn into a black cat, I think. I don't know. Ooh! Or maybe just like a different color cream, like maybe this. Hmm. Cozy art streams all day, every day. Agreed. I need to make my, my reference small again. Go back to where you were. Oh, happy, enjoy the lurk. Thank you so much. I tried to warn them about how small the area is. The doubles is our guest bedroom, and there's not a lot of space. I feel that. I'm so quick. Um, yeah, can't speak. I'm so glad Twitch has become a safe space for you. It's helped me a lot. Twitch is such a, especially, I think, um, our Twitch. Like, the art community on Twitch is just unmatched in my eyes. Ooh, pronoun party. I go by Jesse and my pronouns are she, her.
today on They Them, but she, her is also fine. <laughs> I love this little purple kitty. Yeah, I was like, I wasn't vibing with, with the cream one, but I was like, I think purple's a safe bet.
Eve, thank you so much. I'll probably take a big old nap. Definitely take a nap if you need one. Because like, I definitely want these to be like really textured.
teeny tiny sassy gray cat named Sybil and a chonky loud cuddly orange cat named Obi. That's so cute. That's so cute. And Kylie, I have oh, a basset hound named Emmy Lou, and we have a mystery mutt named Kelpie. Ooh, what do you think your mystery mutt, like, do you know, like, what, like, attributes it shows? Like, what type of dogs do you think it might be made of? Oh, Sybil and OB sweet babies, my sneaky <laughs> BF is allergic to kitties. Oh, no. And I miss having one around the house so much. Gotta get some barn cats someday. My partner's allergic too, but we grew up, but he grew up with them, so he's used to just dealing with it. He takes a lot of meds for it. I actually only grew up with dogs. Ooh. I grew up with only cats. Milo is my first dog ever. And he is beyond a handful. I think I like that these oranges are like peeking up at the top. We think Kelpie might be part Cavalier meets Schnauzer. I've been looking a bit, but I have to say this illustration is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. She's small and curly, but loves to play with big dogs. She doesn't like other small dogs. Milo is 50-50 when it comes to dogs. It really, there's, there's like no science to tell which dog he's going to like or dislike. He, however, does hate puppies. All puppies. All of them. <laughs> no matter what but like other dogs it's like an absolute 50 50 chance so no puppy energy for milo it's not even that because milo is a herding dog he's a blue healer so he's got energy for days i don't know what about puppies he has an issue with because it doesn't matter if they're like timid puppies or energetic puppies it's just like, I mean, we did talk to his trainer and they said that there's like 50% of dogs don't understand that puppies are also dogs. And so it might make them anxious. And that's the only thing I can think it might be. He's like, it's small and it moves weird and it smells weird. So it's definitely not a dog. So it's still a little too. That's too much, too much better okay he's like y'all need to grow up and get with the herding program so at our last apartment there was a like a itty bitty puppy golden retriever and the first time he saw it he hated it immediately the little hairs on the back of his back like stood up he was mad he hated it fast forward a few months um and she's like what seven eight nine months she's bigger she's like medium sized now because she she's a golden loves her loves her wanted to play with her so bad 
But when she was like a puppy puppy, he was like, I hate everything about you. Gets slightly older. He's like, we're, we're chill. Buddy, you're okay. Here's dogs barking outside. Unfortunately, each orange will have to be on its own layer, for the most part. I have to read some papers from my lab meeting tomorrow. No worries. Enjoy your lurk. Oopsies. No, no, no. That's a different layer.
feel like it always looks like a perfect circle until I flip the canvas slightly and I'm like, ooh, hoo -hoo, that's gonna work near a circle.
Yeah, somebody came in the building, and so he did a big bork. He only does it once, but it's spooky when it happens, because he doesn't bark. He's not a barky dog. Now he's sitting at the door, as if they're gonna come into our house. Well, they're not coming here. They're going downstairs. At least I hope they're not coming up here. <laughs> protect his space. Oh no, he's just excited. He loves strangers. He would be the worst guard dog in the history. The most he would do is pee on them if, if he had to go potty. He'd get too excited and pee. That's it. That's it. <laughs> but he loves strangers and he loves when people come over. So he would not do any protecting. <laughs> he would just be excited. Oh no, you're robbing us? Oh, okay. Just bet me. <laughs> Look at all these oranges. Going through and shading each one of these is going to be a lot. I'm probably going to have to go in and shade them and then merge them because I'm working with a larger canvas. So I'm afraid that I'm going to run out of layers quicker than I normally do. What am I on this one? Mm. One, two. What's the next color? Oh, this one? I feel like that's not the right color yet. Because I'm on the third color. Or did I lighten it too much? <laughs> Maybe I need to make everything a smidge darker. So I don't get that color too soon. Oops.
No, welcome in. Very much enjoying a work lurking and watching this amazing citrus cat develop. And when I saw this little cat with all these oranges, I think it was on Twitter. I was like, I need, I need orange cat. Malia, hi, how are you? In Orange Cat, we trust. Is this a Stardew song? It sounds like a Stardew song. Mm, I cannot tell. I'm good, how are you? Today has been a pretty decent day. Get only on, getting, getting, can't speak, getting a lot done. <laughs> Put, oh, look at that circle. Like you can see on the, the little layer how wonky it actually is. Okay, there's a little bit more here. Anyone, anyone want to tell me if they know where this song is from? My brain wants to say Stardew, but I don't know. <laughs> What is this from? To you about it, my brain is just like, I've definitely heard it. Like it has been heard before. Ooh. What a jam. I have to... No, I'm right before the yellow. I'm not even... Isn't that the color I was just working in, though? No, maybe not. This one's slightly lighter. The schmidge. I'll do... Ooh! The Mario remix? This should be below all the layers here. I feel like my internet is going to not let me watch streams today. No, but I'll pet back in if it gets better. I hope your internet gets its gets its stuff together. It is a jam though. It's an absolute bop.
I think we're gonna try and finish up the base of all these oranges and then we might go find someone to raid. At least want to get all of my my oranges laid out. That orange gradient is yummy. <laughs> Agreed. Ooh, did you guys also see that Concerned Ape did say that uh, we are allowed to use Stardew Tracks in our streams? So if I ever switch back to my actual playlist, <laughs> I'll probably add some some like more official Stardew tracks to it. However, the the Game Chops live has been working out pretty well because when I have my own playlist, I get bored of it pretty quick. But having like a randomized live playlist usually keeps my brain pretty interested because it doesn't know what music is coming up or if I've heard it before. And they usually mostly hit like the vibe that I like. Um, I do go in, so I'll, like I'll go into the live and I will scoop back like an hour or so in music just in case it does like a song that I just don't, I'm not in the mood to listen to pops up. I can scoop forward a little bit. Yes, what an absolute king. Agreed. Yes, we love Concerned Ape. Are you guys excited for Haunted Chocolatier? Because I am beyond ready for Haunted Chocolatier. I am so, so very excited for it. I was like, I don't think there's a release date, but I know they have like trailers and it's in like late stage development. Um, but yes. I was literally about to ask you for yes, a he actually, Yes, he actually... He actually okayed YouTube. Oh, he okayed YouTube first. And then someone followed up and asked about Twitch. It looks so amazing. Also, my Z... My Z or my keyword is not... Oh, will not capitalize anymore. That's weird. That's really weird. Can't think of, like, why that would even be a thing. I'm so rent ready for Haunted Chocolatier. Uh, I would love- uh, maybe I'll play that on stream when it comes out. Maybe that'll be a thing. Because I want to do more games on stream. But I feel like I've played enough Stardew where like I'm not sure it's like interesting to play. Like I don't know if it, I don't know if I could keep interested in playing it on stream. I've essentially reburnt myself out on Animal Crossing, so I just I can't I can't even get on my Animal Crossing. Now hot to chocolatier though. It's a whole whole new game. Within the same world that I already love. I did debate going in and doing a Joja run. I have never done a Joja run in Stardew. Same on the Animal Crossing. I've been playing Stardew like crazy though. I downloaded a Stardew mod for an extended version and it's like a whole new game. Ooh. I have to force myself 
to only stream it once or twice a week because suddenly it's six hours later. I feel that. Ooh, a JoJo run. Yeah, I've never done a JoJo run. So I'm kind of interested in that. I think my main objective on my current farm um, is to have like 100% relationship with everyone, like full stars. Which I'm doing pretty good on so far. And so like, I don't want to like start a stream like mid farm. I don't know. Unless are you guys in, in, interested in like mid farm streams? I feel like it's more interesting when you start from the beginning. But I could be wrong. Oh, I'm working on that now. It's so hard because you don't get extra goodies like when you complete mini community center bundles. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, so like when you complete like the little sections within, you don't get the little things. Okay. Yeah. That's fair, I guess. You know, I want this to be bigger. Yeah, yeah like that. Orange where the cat is, even though you won't be able to see it. It's gotta be there. I don't watch any and all studios just stardew stardew streams but that's because i just love it so much i think stardew streams are always great company i like them best at night but everyone has different time zones so shrug yeah that's fair yeah trying to hit everyone on like a good time zone because i also like watching streams um depending like sometimes i like to watch them at work because it kind of feels like um like body doubling and so I can be a little more productive if somebody else is working. So like kind of like the co-working streams. Um, but then yeah, in, in the evening I really like cozy, like gaming streams. I was like when I first joined Twitch last year, because I'm I'm still I I still consider myself relatively new to Twitch, um, in comparison to a lot of people that I know. But I actually started watching Cheyenne Barton streams. And those were the first streams that I ever watched. And they were so incredibly cozy. I loved both of her like art and and gaming streams. And then I decided to join Twitch as like a as a streamer and, and here here we are. <laughs> here we are today. I also like Twitch as kind of like an alternative to YouTube because I am, as you can tell, horrible at like remembering to film content, having to sit down and edit the content. But I am trying once again to do studio vlogs, but I'm not putting too much pressure on myself. But I liked that in streams, it was just live, so I wouldn't really have to edit it. No, what? Instagram took off the option to not post the reels to your feed? Why? We love Cheyenne and Connor. Absolutely. Co-working streams midday are the only reason I get anything done. That's totally true. I do the same thing with YouTube videos, though. Um, so, like, watching somebody else just do things in their house throughout their day, I'm like, I am now motivated to do the thing now. There it is. I don't think my content would be that motivating, but um, I like the idea of using YouTube as kind of like a place to document um, not only like my art process, but also just like little journeys and adventures that I go on. Because I have a few YouTube videos that are a bit older now, but I still like that I have just like that documentation of it. Oh, but I found it. After you post it, you can hit the three dots and take it off. Why is Instagram... <laughs> Why? Ugh. When Instagram decides to do things to make things harder, kind of like when they made it harder to share things for a while. Like, why would you do something that's going to hurt you? You know nobody's going to like that. Who, who would like that? Who decided that? 
Who who in like the the development section was just like, let's just take things away. It's kind of like Apple, where they're like, good to say goodbye to the to the headphone jack. They'll like that for sure. Instagram, you goobers. Why did they do that? Yeah, I don't know. They're like, let's take things away from people and they'll be happy. Oh, where did that go? That's this, okay. Yeah, Instagram and, and its algorithm right now is just atrocious, but I feel like that's where my biggest audience is at the moment, so it's not really practical to just, like, drop Instagram. So I kind of just have to give in to what it wants to see at this point. Instagram be like, maybe <laughs> to make it better, we make it worse. Yeah, basically. Ooh, no, 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 no. It's also just like I don't have like all of the free time in the world to be making rails. Like if I was like a full-time freelancer, maybe. But like I work a nine to five and then I get home and then I'm one tired. And so it's like, you know, what do I want to do? Do I want to draw? Do I want to stream? Do I just want to rest and exist? And like making reels is usually not my first answer. It's only like if I have like ample free time and also like the motivation to do it. Can I make them on here? I feel weird not to put a yellow one here. I already can tell you this is not a circle. Whoopsies. Where are you at? Oh, you are not a circle. They don't gotta be perfect. Oranges aren't perfect. But also just like, a little better, please? Just a smidge. That's not what I needed. Nope. Oh yeah, and then after this, I start going back through the colors. Nope. So then I go with this one. It's like it's getting harder to like see where they are. Woo. This is gonna be like way bigger.
right, we have our base oranges. Let's go see if anyone is online. <laughs> Okay, so we can go from here to Stardew Valley, um, or we can go to another artist. It looks like Eloy is on, we can go raid them, or at least Shatan is also on, and she's doing Stardew Valley right now. We can do either. Or if you have a recommendation, that works as well. But ideally we want to bring our cozy vibes to someone else. So cute, yummy oranges, Stardew, Stardew. <laughs> we can go to Stardew, we can go visit Lishatan. For sure. Okay, let me type a raid message really quick. Can't spell. And feel free to switch out the Zuzu emote with a non subscriber emote. Thank you so much for the lovely orange stream. Be sure to take care of yourself post stream. Definitely will and just stretch and, and hydrate some more. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the stream ending screen and we are gonna go visit Li Shatan. And she is playing Stardew Valley right now. <laughs> 